Hi there! Today we are going to talk about lobular pneumonia. Try to remember the new words gradually, dullness, accompany, occlusion, purulent, sputum, accelerate, reduce, improve, spleen, enlarge, sign, intensity, shadow, severe. As you know, pneumonia is an infection in one or both lungs. The causes of pneumonia are viruses, bacteria, and fungi. Let's identify the meaning of the word lobular pneumonia. Lobular pneumonia spreads by direct continuity of lung tissue and leads to massive consolidation with the lobar distribution. The disease may spread more widely until it involves almost the whole lung, but it's not common to find two separate areas in the same lung. In this picture, you can see two lungs of the human body, right lung and the left lung. And as you can see, that the left lung with lower pneumonia in the lower loop. It's an infected part of the lung. We will learn how to diagnose lobular pneumonia through the patient's case history. We'll talk about the patient Smirnov. Patient Smirnov, aged 48, was admitted to the hospital with the diagnosis of lobular pneumonia. His preceding disease was bronchitis, and he noted about the onset symptoms of lobular pneumonia. There were fever, breathlessness, cyanosis of the face, cough, and chest pain. Patient complained of irregular course of fever and it was persisting for two weeks and decreased gradually. About breathlessness, patient's breathing was rapid with 30-40 respirations per minute, and his cough was with purulent sputum. And also he complained of chest pain on deep breathing in. His pulse rate was accelerated and the arterial pressure was reduced. To establish a diagnosis, a physician used the basic types of examinations. They are physical examination, which includes visual examination, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. The next is laboratory studies, which includes urinalysis, blood and sputum analysis and instrumental studies taking electrocardiograms, cystoscopy and x-ray examination. On physical examination, the physician observed the following abnormalities. For example, dullness in the left lung, abnormal respiration, numerous rows caused by diffuse bronchitis, and repetition. On laboratory studies, he observed an increased leukocytosis, an accelerated ESR, which means erythrocyte sedimentation rate, and a small amount of protein and erythrocytes in urine. On instrumental studies, the physician observed numerous foci of inflammation of various size and a shadowing at the root of the left lung due to the enlargement of the lymphatic glands. And using these examinations, 
the physician established the correct diagnosis of lobular pneumonia. Today we learned about the lobular pneumonia and its symptoms. The basic symptom is the cough. And the next symptoms are fever, rapid breathing, reduced arterial pressure, cyanosis of the face, accelerated pulse rate, and chest pain. In conclusion, I'd like to say that we have learned about lobular pneumonia and increased the skill of communicating in English. And I'd like to say that we try our best to answer the following questions. Your attention is greatly appreciated. I hope you enjoy my presentation. Be healthy and wealthy.